Hi, this is the SwitchBot Curtain Tree and it turned out that installing it took me just a couple of minutes. Now my office curtains can be opened and closed automatically. Let me show you how it works. SwitchBot sent me the SwitchBot Curtain Tree to give my honest opinion about it. This is my first SwitchBot curtain and I was truly curious how it would work. With this SwitchBot curtain tree it should be possible to automate all kinds of curtains without having to install new rails or do complicated things to install the device. And at the end of the video I show you how much noise this curtain robot produces. The box contains the SwitchBot motor that can be charged using a USB 3 cable or a solar panel which I will show you in a minute. Next to that two hooks are provided that can be used to connect to your curtain rail or curtain rod. For certain curtains a bead chain is provided to make sure that your curtains move smoothly along the rails. The package also contains a 2 meter long USB-C charging cable and some accessories to help install the SwitchBot curtain tree. SwitchBot also sent me two solar panels that can be attached to the main unit of the curtain motor. This way your curtain motor will always be charged as long as the curtains hang in front of a window. At first glance the manual looks complex and I was a little afraid to start installing the device because of all the possibilities. But when I started installing it, it turned out that it was not difficult at all. I wanted to install the SwitchBot curtain tree on my curtains in my office. These curtains do not use a rail, but a rod and I wanted the two curtains to open simultaneously. To make this possible I had to install two SwitchBot curtain trees. Luckily SwitchBot sent me two of them so it was not a problem for me to install this device on my curtains. So be aware that if you have double curtains you will need two SwitchBot curtain trees. The specifications of the SwitchBot curtain tree are as follows. Installation takes just a couple of seconds, just click the hooks onto the main unit and you're done. The size of the curtain robot is 78 by 71 by 205 mm. The weight is 280 grams. The battery life is 8 months or unlimited when you use the solar panel to charge the battery. The maximum runway is 3 meters. There are multiple ways to control the device, namely Meta, Voice Control, Apple Watch, Touch and Go, Timers, Light Sensor, App Control and SwitchBot Remote. The noise level is lower than 25 decibels and can be even silent when you use the quiet drift option. You have non-stop solar power if you use the solar panel that is sold separately. The SwitchBot Curtain 3 works even on extendable rods and it can easily push curtains up to 16 kilograms. You can open up the curtains when the sun comes up at 5 mm per second and you can control your curtains remotely using Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, if this then that or Siri shortcuts if you use the SwitchBot Hub. So I expected installing this device to be complex but all I had to do was install the SwitchBot app and the app walked me through the entire setup process with ease. The app is very user friendly and even has a nice video installation guide. First I had to select the option to add a device and select the type of device that I wanted to install. In my case it's a curtain. After selecting the curtain option I had to put the SwitchBot curtain motor into pairing mode by holding the button on the device for 2 seconds. The LED indicator started to blink white so I could go to the next step. The app then connected to the SwitchBot curtain motor immediately. Then I had to select what kind of curtain I owned. I wanted to install a curtain that opens from the middle so I selected the second option here. After that I had to put the second SwitchBot curtain motor into pairing mode and the app connected to the second curtain motor immediately as well. So far so good. In my experience a lot of smart devices do not connect immediately to an app but connecting the SwitchBot curtain 3 went flawlessly. After the second SwitchBot was installed the two SwitchBot curtains started grouping automatically. This was also successful and I was able to name my SwitchBot Curtain 3 and select a room for it. Now I had to select a track type. I could choose between a U-rail or a rod. In my case my Curtain track type is a rod so I selected the rod. Now we need to physically install the SwitchBot Curtain 3. I selected the video guide. There are multiple track types for rods and in my case I used the grommet curtains, so I chose grommet curtains. I needed the main unit hooks and the positioning magnet for this. Now I attached the hooks to the rod.
Then I connected the main unit to the hooks. I had to make sure that the SwitchBot logo was facing inward. After that, I had to stick the positioning magnets to the left and the right of the middle position of the rod. Because of the fact that my rod is telescopic, I had to attach the rod adapter so that the SwitchBot curtain tree runs smoothly along the rod. Then I needed to close the curtains before I started calibrating the devices. In this next step I needed to calibrate both curtain motors so that they know where to start and where to end. It turned out that the app has a smart calibration option, which is a fully automated process that worked awesome. I just needed to click on the calibrate option and the motor started to run to the end and back to the beginning. Both motors were calibrated after that and I could start controlling my curtains automatically after that. Installing the SwitchBot Curtain 3 was a really nice experience due to the fact that everything went so smoothly. The app has a great design and controlling the curtains is very user friendly. You can open and close the curtains using the app and you can also open and close them partially. Next to that you can create schedules so that the curtains open and close automatically at times that you want them to open or close. Oh, and when you pull the curtain manually, the curtain motor takes over and opens or closes the curtains automatically as well. So you don't even need the app at all to control the curtains. If you own the SwitchBot Hub 2, you can control the SwitchBot Curtain 3 using Home Assistant. You will only be able to control the open and close controls, but that may just be enough to control your curtains using an automation that triggers at sunrise or sunset. If you'd like to know how to connect SwitchBot devices using Matter and the SwitchBot Hub 2, then please watch this video where I explain how to do this. In the past I created some other videos about curtain robots before and you ask me every time how much noise these robots produce. Well, I must say the SwitchBot Curtain 3 produces quite some noise when you open and close it at normal speed using the app. But if you use the quiet drift option in a scheduled automation or delay, the curtains open very slowly and you won't hear anything at all. According to the specifications, they produce lower than 25 decibels, but judge for yourself what you think in the next two shots where I show the normal operation and quiet drift operation modes. The SwitchBot Curtain 3 costs $89.99 and can be purchased at a 10% discount when you use the links and coupon codes in the description below the video. I have to be honest here, I never thought a curtain robot was interesting enough to buy, but this SwitchBot Curtain 3 is so easy to install and works so well that I changed my mind. In addition to the ease of use, it's also a nice addition to the security of your home. The fact that I can open and close my curtains automatically is a big plus for present simulation in my house. By the way, if you want to know more about present simulation in Home Assistant, please watch this video where I explain how you can set that up in minutes. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos, please consider becoming one of my sponsors just like these awesome people did. You play a vital role in keeping this channel alive. See the links to Patreon, Ko-fi and how to join my channel in the description of this video. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye bye! And I was truly cur curious, 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 curious. How much noise the curtain robot produces. Produces. You can. <laughs> Again.